Welcome to the Scouting Expedition Podcast, courtesy of the Cascade Pacific Council of Scouting America. This is more than just a podcast, it's an adventure cast. Here we'll share stories and insights about the lifelong adventure, real world grit, and personal growth only found through scouting here in the Cascade Pacific Council. We'll have guests here indoors, but also head outdoors to meet those that make the scouting expedition come to life for thousands of local youth here in Northwest Oregon and Southwest Washington. Each episode will start with the latest news, reminders, and important deadlines for our families, scouts, leaders, and volunteers, so you can just take a quick listen or watch in a way that's convenient for you. Then we'll dive into the topic of the day. So let's get started. Hello, scouts, scouters, and friends, and thanks so much for joining us on today's edition of the Scouting Expedition Podcast. My name is Chris Bartell. I'm the Director of Marketing and Innovation here at the Cascade Pacific Council of Scouting America. And today we have so much going on in the Cascade Pacific Council that we're just going to dive into a newscast for all of our members here in the Cascade Pacific Council. And so let's get to it, shall we? And as always, we'd like to start off our episode with a safety moment. And we just want to remind all of you scouts and scouters out there that to do a safety moment at the beginning of your adventures and your meetings. And if you're wondering what kind of topics you should cover, well, by golly, head on over to scouting.org and do a search for safety moments, and you'll find a plethora of them, literally safety moments to cover anything you are possibly covering in your meeting or on your adventure. And uh, there's a lot of great tools there and uh, really great to review with your scouts as well. Okay, let's dive into the latest and greatest headline news here around the Cascade Pacific Council of Scouting America. First of all, I want to let you know that weekend rides at Butte Creek Horse Ranch are almost underway. That's going to be happening from October through December, and we are asking you to RSVP by September 30th. Why? Because then you'll save some money. And isn't that nice because a scout is always thrifty, right? So you can do half-day rides or full-day rides. We also have a little buckaroo program for the younger kids and, uh, and the younger scouts. And so come on in and check that out. All the links for this, of course, and everything else we're going to talk about today are in your Compass Points email newsletter. We also want to let you older scouts know that summer camp registration is now open for Baldwin and Merriweather and Pioneer for 2025 summer camp. So check that out as well. The links there are in your email newsletter. We also want to let you Mayor Badge counselors know about our new system called Badger. This is our uh, a new system of sort of checks and balances to make sure all of you counselors are registered and, and have some knowledge about the things you want to cover in your Mayor Badges. So uh, check that out. We did, a, we did a podcast episode and a walkthrough demonstration of how this system works there. So check that out on, uh, on YouTube, actually, is the best way to watch that and listen to that, and, uh, and you'll see this amazing system in place. Really a great, great tool, and if you're interested in being a Merit Badge Counselor, we'd love to have you teach your skills that you love and you're passionate about to our, to our older scouts, and so you can register as well. Some district events we want to let you know about is that the River's Edge District is having its Weeblows Woods and the Basic Adult Leader Outdoor Orientation, uh, also known as Baloo Training. This is happening on October 4th through 6th at Butte Creek Scout Ranch. And a really great opportunity for, for you younger scouts, you well actually we'll say your, you future Scouts BSA Scouts, uh, to head on out uh, to, uh, to, to join us for Weeblows Woods and you'll get to learn from the older scouts. Really a, a great weekend of camping and learning from older scouts there. We also have the Weeblows Woods for Pacific Trail and Pacific Shores. They're joining up to tag team on this one. And uh, this is happening October 18th through 20th on, at Camp Merriweather. We also have Cascadia and Timberline Weeblows Woods. They're joining forces too on October 18th through 20th. And theirs is at Butte Creek Scout Ranch. So make sure you get registered for all these really fun Weeblows Woods opportunities for your district. Some council events we want to let you know about is that we have Falls Super Weekend is going to be happening. It's going to be here before you know it, October 4th through 6th at Camp Merriweather. And this is basically like a mini summer camp where there's going to be shooting and climbing and, of course, hanging out with all of your scout buddies and friends. And uh, this is happening again at Camp Merriweather. But here's what's really, really great about this is if you're an adult who would like to get some training opportunities, we have that happening as well. So even if your scout unit is not going to Super Weekend, you can come out for climbing tower instructor training, for the introduction to outdoor leader skills training. We also will have the leave no trace instructor training happening that weekend too. So come on out for those. 
We also want to let you know about the Ed Harris Trado Re and Auction. If you love old patches, vintage patches, and, and gear, come on out to this. This is a really fun event. It's happening at the Kinton Grange in Beaverton, and it's happening on October 4th and 5th. And what's really great about when you trade and you and you purchase some of the uh, the items here is that, that the proceeds go toward camp scholarships. So that's really great. Again, that's happening October 4th and 5th, the Ed Harris Trado Re and Auction. We also want to let you know that we're having a fishing derby coming up here pretty soon on October 12th at the St. Louis Ponds in Jervis, Oregon. So you can bring friends. Everyone's welcome to, to uh, join us for this, uh, especially bring your younger scouts who have not ever done fishing. There's just going to be some fun opportunities to catch fish, and, uh, and we'll have some, some really great giveaways and whatnot. It, this is going to be a great time. Again, October 12th, uh, it is happening at St. Louis Ponds in Jervis, Oregon. And are you ready for a scary good time? The Haunted Trails ha is happening again. It is happening at Butte Creek Scout Ranch on October 25th and through 27th. And there's going to be horseback riding and shooting sports and pumpkin carving and lots of fun there at Haunted Trails. Again, that's October 25th through 27th at Butte Creek Scout Ranch. We also want to let you know about some really great training opportunities coming up here. First off, we have Wilderness First Aid. There are two weekends for this on, on September 21st through 22nd and October 26th and 27th. And what's really great about this is this is for youth ages 14 up and adults. And what's really great is they'll modify it based on the adventures you are planning. So check that out. A really great opportunity. This is happening in Beaver Creek. Again, two weekends available, September 21st and 22nd and October 26th through 22nd, 27th. We also have a shooting sports training opportunity here. If you want to be a shotgun instructor or a muzzle loading instructor, we have courses and training here for you on September 21st, as well as September 27th through 29th. Those dates are all required, however. So if you want to add these shooting sports to your unit activities, or you'd like to help us out at the council camps, then by golly, these trainings are for you and they're happening at Camp Merriweather. Again, that's September 21st and September 27th through 29th. We also have a Cub Scout leader training, and this is great for anyone who holds a position in a pack or a den, come out to Camp Lewis on October 5th, and there's going to be Cub Scout position-specific training for you. Again, that's October 5th at Camp Lewis in Vancouver, and it's free. We also have an adult outdoor training for Cub Scout adults. This is called Basic Adult Leader Outdoor Orientation. We mentioned this a little bit earlier with one of the Weeblows Woods activities. And so this is happening at Camp Lewis on October 11th through 13th. And it's only $35 and a really great opportunity to learn all the basics of uh, camping in the outdoors with your Cub Scout pack. So come out and check that out. We also have a troop outdoor training happening as well called Introduction to Outdoor Leader Skills or IOLS. And this is happening on October 11th through 13th and October 25th through 27th also at Camp Lewis in Vancouver. And this is really for any adults in older scout units. Come on out and you'll get some great skills about camping and adventuring in the great outdoors. We also want to emphasize the fact that you should all come to University of Scouting on November 2nd. This is an opportunity for you to take multiple classes on really anything possible when it comes to scouting and then some, including outdoors training. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. Everything from Dutch oven cooking to first aid and knot tying, all the things that you want to teach your scouts, but great things for you to learn as well. Again, that's happening November 2nd, and it's happening again this year at Mount Hood Community College. An advancement opportunity we want to let you know about is that we have the American Labor Mayor Badges happening at the Oswego Heritage House in Lake Oswego. This is happening on October 12th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Really great fun opportunity for scouts, BSA youth, and for adults, you're welcome to just come on and learn some great local history and you scouts will earn the American Labor Merit Badge. We also have some service opportunities we want to let you know about. We have the Camp Cooper Service Weekend happening on September 13th through 15th and you'll help out with some cleanup and campsite repairs and some trail restoration and you'll get to see our beautiful waterfall there. If you've never been to Camp Cooper, it is near Willamina, Oregon and just a lovely place for you to do year-round camping with your scout unit. We also have a Winter Lodge Service Day happening at Aubrey Watsick Lodge on October 12th. 
And this is the beauty of this one here, is that if you want to go to Winter Lodge this year and you want to make sure you get your reservation, then by golly, come and help out <laughs> and with this service day and you'll get first dibs on making reservations. So check that out. That is October 12th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's a, it's a nice day to just help out uh, the, the Winter Lodge and get it all cleaned up and ready for winter. A partner event we want to let you know about here, and this is going to be really, really fun. This is the Monster Truck Live Glow Party, and it's happening September 28th or September 29th, whichever you prefer. There's going to be a laser light show, transforming robots, dance party, Hot Wheels giveaways, and of course, monster trucks. So check that out uh, at September 28th through 29th. Of course, all the links for all the things we talked about today are in your Compass Points email newsletter. So thanks to everyone for joining us today for today's newscast version of our podcast, and we will see you next time.